A very good morning my dear students how are you all i hope all of you all are doing good well today we are going to learn about punctuation what is a punctuation mark a punctuation mark is a mark which is used in writing to separate sentences and to clarify their meaning a punctuation mark is a mark which is used in writing to separate sentences and to clarify their meaning Now children can you identify these punctuation marks yes these are the symbols which are used to punctuate okay the first one is a question mark second one is a full stop third is a comma and the fourth is a capital letters so i'm going to teach you these punctuation marks when we have to use these punctuation marks capital letters a sentence will always begin with a capital letter for example she is going to the market now in this sentence the big the sentence should begin with a capital letter so s should be written in capital letter she is going to the market second all the special names will also begin with a capital letter so all proper nouns should begin with a capital letter for example amrita is going to jaipur with shaina in this sentence amrita is a name of a person so a should be written in capital letter jaipur jaipur is a place so j should be written in capital letter shaina s should be written in capital letter okay so all special names will also begin with a capital letter third the pronoun i is written in capital letter wherever it appears so the pronoun i should be can be written in the beginning of the sentence or in between the sentence 2 for example sheena and i are sisters what gets a capital letter names of people and pets like lucy joe sally names of pets you can call like any pet like coco sally tommy husky are all names of pets the names of places you can name any place like mcdonalds dominos etc days of the week so all the days of the week like sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday all the days of the week also should be written in capital letter months of the year january february march april may june july august september october november and december should also be written in capital letter names of holidays and names of festivals like diwali christmas sankranti onam etc then a sentence always begin with a capital letter the next punctuation mark is a full stop every sentence that is a statement ends with a full stop for example i am watching a movie so every sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop okay children now let's see some more examples this is a very beautiful painting so this is a statement and ends with a full stop now look at the sentence drink your milk this is a command and it also ends with a full stop do your work clean your teeth these are all commands and they also end with a full stop do your homework we end it with a full stop i am going to attend a concert it is a statement and hence we end it with a full stop have you understood children the next punctuation mark is a question mark if a sentence is asking a question it will end with a question mark for example what are you doing so this is a question and we end the sentence with a question mark like that we can ask so many questions let's see some more examples what is your name this is also a question what are you doing this is also a question where do you live where are you coming from if a sentence is asking a question we use a question mark in the end okay children have you understood and the next punctuation mark is a exclamatory mark so exclamation mark is used when a sentence expresses a deep or a sudden emotion 
For example, I can't believe it. Oh, that's a huge building. You won the prize. You did a great job. I love this rainbow. What a pleasant day. How intelligent you are. What a fine day. My dog is so cute. What a beautiful dress. Wow, that was a thrilling ride. So exclamation mark is used when a sentence expresses a deep or a sudden emotion. Brilliant, you solved the puzzle. Awesome, you got the job. Ouch, that really hurts. Children, have you understood? When do we use an exclamatory mark? The next one is a comma. A comma is used to separate three or more words in a list. For example, I love mango, apple, grapes and banana. In this sentence, we have three or more words. So after the word mango, we use a comma. Mango comma, apple comma, grapes and banana. Now let's see some more examples. For example, cricket, football, tennis and basketball are some of the most popular games. Now in this sentence, after the word cricket, we use a comma, football, comma, tennis and basketball are some of the most popular games. See the next sentence, Lisa, Sophie and Ria. Ria and Tia are my best friends. Now in this sentence, Leah comma, Sophie comma, Ria and Tia are my best friends. So how we say, Leah, Sophie, Ria and Tia are my best friends. So when we list three or more than three things, we use commas to separate the initial words and is used to separate the last word in the series. We also use comma after the words like yes, no, well, of course, by the way. So when these words begin in the beginning of the sentence like yes, no, well, of course, by the way, we use a comma. Now let's see some examples. Yes, I want to join the army for serving my country. So after the word yes, we use a comma. Yes, I want to join the army for serving my country. Of course, I will join you people for the party tonight. So after the word of course, we use a comma. Of course, I will join you people for the party tonight. Yes, I will have soup. So after the word yes, we put a comma. Yes, I will have soup. So children, have you understood when to use a comma? Now let's do this exercise. Punctuate the following sentences. When is your birthday? So tell me whether this is a statement or a question. Yes, this is a question. We are asking a question. When is your birthday? So we begin the sentence with a capital letter. And since it is a question, we end it with a question mark. Second, I love ice cream. So whether, tell me whether it's a statement or a question. Yes, it is a statement. So we begin the sentence with a capital letter, capital I. I love ice cream and end the sentence with a full stop. Third, my mom and I went to the park. So tell me whether it's a statement or a question. It is a statement. My mom and I, so capital M should start the sentence with a capital letter. My mom and I, I should be written in capital letter. Went to the park. Put a full stop at the end of the sentence. We had pizza for lunch. So tell me whether it's a statement or a question. Yes, it is a statement. We had pizza for lunch. So begin the sentence with a capital letter and end with a full stop. Last, Ram, Sham and Radha are playing. So the words Ram, Sham and Radha are proper nouns. So we begin the sentence with a capital letter. So Ram, R capital letter, Ram, comma, Sham, S capital letter and Radha are playing. So this is a statement and we end this sentence with a full stop. Children, I hope you have understood today's class. For your homework, I want you to go through this video two to three times and try to understand okay, what is punctuation and how to punctuate the sentences.
Thank you. Stay home, stay safe and be happy.